Maybe it's a tail. Oh, it's taking me one shot. Oh! Alright guys, we've got good news. Skeletor got his first two victims today. I lost all my fish on the troll actually. Which is a bit of a bummer. Yo, what's up I guess? So I forgot to push record. But we are busy gutting and cleaning the fish. So we utilize as much of the yellow tail and the bucket's tailgate as possible, right? Still gonna fill it that one, or that half. And you get the chops. You got the head. This is like one of the tastiest pieces. Then, so we've got the fillet. And what I'm gonna show you, you take your spoon, when you're done filleting, you scrape up the meat and then you can make like a little ceviche. Cool, so I'm busy really skin the one. Bonnie, which I didn't bleed so lekker. But we're gonna smoke one and brine one. Then this is what I've just skinned. The yellow tail fillets. It's really good. Gonna make some sashimi out of that now. This is the other yellow tail fillet. Then we got the belly fat. Look at that. So yeah, we're gonna get to it. I'm gonna put the GoPro on the chest because I didn't have the tripod in my hands so fishy. But best thing of all, we're not wasting the skeleton and all of that. We're not we're not we're not wasting the spine and stuff. My dad. No, it's a really good fish soup recipe. So, woo. busy making that now. Oh, it smells delicious. Then, when I filleted the fish, hold on, here comes Corona. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, pot's closed. <laughs> okay, so when we filleted the yellow tail, we took the fillets off. There's always meat left behind on the spine. So, all to do is take a spoon, scrape the meat off. You can either make ceviche or you can just fry it up. I really like to get a little pot, add some butter and garlic, fry it up, and then add whatever the hell you want. It's really, really good. Cool. So all I'm gonna do, I'll just go measure. Yeah, yeah, it should be good enough to cook for one. Yeah, so I didn't get the whole cleaning process underway. But yeah, okay, cool. This is perfect. So what I'm gonna do, I really like using the top loin for sashi uh, sashimi. It's not as stringy in that as the the belly fat. This year will bry. So now I'm going to show you guys, easiest way to skin a yellow tail. So you don't want the bloodline on your meat if you're doing sashimi. Yellow tail is the best sashimi you will ever eat. Besides obviously elephant and that, but for us here on kayak fishing in the Cape, yellow tail sashimi is the best. Okay, so you just pop that down and you just pull the skin. You're basically gliding the skin like that. Just trim that completely away. You can eat that if you really want. I'll give it to the dog. You see, yeah, there's like a little ligament in there. Take a look. What you do is just cut that the angle away. That there is perfect for sashimi for yellow tail. One down. Do two more. Okay, buggers. So the yellow tail is vacuumed. I'll put it in the freezer. And then we're going to get round to it. Too much lemon skin. Moment of truth. I suppose everybody can taste. Mm. Not bad, but it's just too much lemon. A bit too much lemon, but it's yeah. actually flipping good. So take a look. We've got the flash. That not so well bled katongle. And then the yellow tail head, the chops, and the belly. There we go. Flash side down first. Okay, I guess so now we're gonna do the next test. We put the yellow tail fillets in the fridge. 
Okay, so we got top loin and then the belly fat, which is pretty good. All right, first thing about cutting sushi is you need a really sharp knife and this one is blunt. Okay, I'm gonna dip it in some soy sauce. Yeah. Oh. oh my God. Mm. Oh, one more bite. No, it's good. Soy sauce? No. Oh, um. What do you think? <laughs> she likes it. <laughs> okay, my so that's us testing out the sushi. Katunko's on the braai. Lovely. Let's see how these chops are looking. Oh my god. That's what you want. Just for it to fall apart. Okay. This is the best meat right here, this and what's on the cheek. That right there. Look at the steam. Mm, that is amazing. Spice, easy stuff. A little bit of smoked paprika, black pepper and salt, and a little bit of dried chilies, but you won't even taste it. Boy, it's hot. Let's see. It's hot, I told you it's hot, yeah? The lighting is going to be bad. Because obviously it's night time. But um, yeah, I guess that was really tasty. It was really good there. Uh, we're going to cook the head now. But I think we're going to end the video there. I don't think you guys want to see the head being cooked. But uh, yeah, just make sure whatever fish you do catch. Use as much as you can of it. Don't, don't waste it. And obviously stick to your limits. I mean, I could have caught more. But I mean, one tail, one bunny. That's more than enough for now. I'm happy. I mean, flip. Everyone's already charred. And we haven't even touched the fillets yet. So... You buggers take care and thanks for watching. Thanks for being patient as well. It's taking a long time for us to actually get a fish on the line. Sweet. Good night. Sure.